One of the most painful parts of running payroll uh, is, of course, getting your time cards entered into the system. If you don't have a time card tracking system that that uh, your employees can enter their time and it syncs into QuickBooks, then it can be painful to take those manual time cards and rekey them into QuickBooks. So this year in 2012 version, uh, Intuit has added the ability to batch enter time cards. This is really nice if you have multiple guys out on the same job or if you just have, uh, you know, the time cards are pretty standard across the board and you need to get them in. So you can come down here and use your weekly timesheet. Okay. <clears throat> in the drop down here, you can add multiple names for payroll as well as multiple names non payroll. Okay. So I'll let you do multiple subcontractors if you need to. We're going to say multiple names payroll. It's going to pop up a list with all of your employees. So we'll go ahead and do for Jamie and for Joe. Now in here, I can choose uh, multiple jobs, service items. So we're going to say labor, your payroll item, any special notes, the class. Okay, and then we'll say that they worked eight hours on this day. And then on the next line, we're going to do a different job, labor, hourly, started job. Okay. All right. Now you can mark them as billable, of course. Uh, it, it allows you to mark mark them as billable. So both of the employees who we chose, their time will be marked as billable to bill through to the client. I'm going to go ahead and say save and new here. So now when I go back in and look at Jamie J Jamie's time card, you can see here that it has all the information that I just created. And then if I look at Joe's, Joe wasn't Joe Smith was the one we did. If I look at Joe's time card, all the information is created here for Joe's time card. So I can quickly complete payroll because I was able to just enter both of the time cards at once and it saved it under both of their names. So that is batch time card entry.